Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Faith Orimi Magno and my group mates Luminda Marlin, Janice Parami, Jeanette Olivas, and Barani Suari. We are the students of International Management School taking a specialist diploma in caregiving. Today, we're going to show you how to position the patient affected by stroke um, effectively and uh, comfortably. Now, we're going to show you how to position the patient lying flat on bed or supine position. I'm Romy and this is my assistant, Janet. We are here to change the physiotherapy, but let's relax. Now, the caregiver will position the head centrally. They use towels to position the head in midline position. A pillow can be placed in a weaker shoulder and arm. <coughs> Ensure that the leg is positioned in neutral position and not rotated out. Now this is called a uh, supine position or lying flat on bed. Now we're gonna show you how to position the patient in a strong side, or we call it prone position. Ensure that the patient is well rolled over. Place the pillow under the weaker arm. This shows you're healthy. Very low risk of heart problems. Low risk. Yeah, Place the pillow low. under the weaker leg. Okay, I need some advice. Now this is what you call the lying position on a strong side of the patient. Now we're gonna go to the lying position on the weak side of the patient. <laughs> Ensure that the head is well supported and in good alignment. Roll the patient on her side. Slide the weak shoulder. Slide the weak shoulder onto her side to avoid excessive pressure onto it. Place a pillow between the patient's legs to put it in position. So now this is what you call the lying uh, on the weak side of the patient. So now after this, uh, I will give the time to Janice Parami to discuss about body mechanics, how to lift the patient or ambulate the patient from bed to wheelchair. Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm Janice. I will discuss the body mechanics. Uh, utilization of correct body mechanics is complete, complete task and safety and effectively without any injury or strain or any muscle injury. A correct body mechanics are essential to help avoid uh, related to musculoskeletal injuries, diminished like injuries, fatigue, or minimize potential injuries. Uh, to prevent uh, important turning the patient to prevent chest infection, avoid bead sore, and assume the neutral position. Thank you so much. Uh, now I give you the time for Pluminda Martin to discuss about ambulation and how to move the patient from bed to wheelchair. Hi, good morning each and everyone. I'm Flomi Martin. I, I'm here in front of you to talk about ambulation. So ambulation defines as the ability to walk from place to place 
uh, independently with or without assistive device. It is important to the patient to ambulate as soon as possible after surgery and recovery from disease to prevent further complications, decrease of hospital stay, decrease of falling, and to improve physical mobility to enhance, to enhance patient's quality of life. Type of patients to be ambulate. Stroke patients, elderly who are mobile and need walking stick, amputations of the limb, and disabled. And these are the ambulatory aids. We have crutches, walkers, parallel bar, and walking stick. It is important to caregiver no safe handling and transfer techniques to minimize injuries to themselves and to the patients. And now, we will demonstrate to you the uh, the ambulation of the patient from bed to wheelchair. First, you need to wash your hands or sanitize before touching the patient. Place wheelchair in line with the bed at least 45 degrees and lock. Place both hand to her tummy. Right leg up. Right leg up. Place left hand to pelvic and right hand to the shoulder and ask the patient to roll over. Remind patient to bring her weaker arm and leg across the room. To sit up, remind patient to bring her legs off the bed, right hand to her pelvic and left hand to her leg up. And pull up to sitting. Ask the patient to shuffle forward such that both of the patient's feet are placed flat on the floor. With the arm that is closer to the wheelchair, reach and hold onto the armrest of the wheelchair. Lean forward to stand and walk around. Use both hands to support her trunk and ask the patient to place her arm on your shoulder and transfer her to the wheelchair. Always be close to the patient so that you can assist her when she lost her balance. And that is the ambulation of the patients from bed to wheelchair. And now we also do the uh, ambulation of patients from wheelchair to bed. Park wheelchair with the patient's strongest side next to the bed. Lock the wheelchair brakes and remove feet from foot rest. Swing or remove foot rest from wheelchair. Explain to the patient the sequence of lifting and pivoting into the wheelchair. Just have us so that we can lift you and Using pair hug techniques, ask the patient to place her arm on your shoulder as you place your arms around her trunk. Brace your feet with your feet to prevent slipping. Use your leg muscles, stand up, and bring the patients upward in a steady, rising motion. Okay, at the count of three, I need you to transfer from wheelchair to bed. One, two, three, up. Sit the patient on the bed. Assist in bring the patient's leg up onto the bed. Yes, I'm, uh, and position her for her comfort. Next. Do you have any heart issues? Heart problem? Did you take any medicine? And that's all, thank you. And now, Janet will talk about bed sores.
Hello, I'm Janet, and today we're going to learn about Bensor. Bensor is increased the skin and um, um, underlying tissues uh, that uh, resulting from prolonged under pressure. There are three kinds of bed sores. There are um, sustained pressure, frictions, and shearing. And then we have to, pre uh, these are the things that we have to pre uh, prevent for the bed sores. After cleaning, we have to clean with the powder and then the cream. And then after, make sure that the linens are very clean, moisturize the skin, ensure the skin is dry. And then of course, um, make sure, um, and then of course, um, always diet, diet and good food amount of, uh, good food amount of the uh, patients to help them to, 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 to give them um, their mental health and emotional to heal quickly the infections and illness of the patients. Thank you. Once again, thank you so much for coming here today for our health awareness program. Today that we learned the technique how to position the patient safely and comfortably without injuring ourselves. Um, the important thing is you have a passion, number one. Number two, you have patience to hunting or handle the patients. And number three is you have you are you love what you what you are doing. Thank you so much. Yeah, I learned